Um, I'm your teacher, Alan, and this is a high beginners class. The interest will be history and culture, and we'll focus on the grammar skill contractions. Um, however, before we actually begin the lesson, we'll have to wait for, for some students to um, join the class. So uh, we'll just be patient for a little bit, and we'll wait for some students to arrive. And in the meantime, yes, thank you for your patience. Hello, Silly Max. Hello. My, my name is Bruno. <laughs> I was going to say you must have a different name. <laughs> no, he's, he's my company. I see. Silly okay. Max. Yes. <laughs> okay, Bruno, nice to meet you, Bruno. How are you? Nice to meet you. Too. I'm fine, and you? Um, I'm well, thank you for asking. Uh, where are you calling um, from? From Brazil. Brazil, nice. And which yes. part of Brazil? Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Mm. Yes. Are you, excellent. Um, are you looking forward to the World Cup next year? Uh, yes. Uh, it's going to be quite busy. We're going to have a lot of tourists coming. Yes. Do you, do, are you into football much? Do you like soccer? I don't like. <laughs> really? You're really. Not sure? You're not a real Brazilian, then. Yeah. <laughs> Some people in Brazil don't like soccer. <laughs> really? I didn't know that. Oh. Yes, yes. The most, okay. the most of the people like it, my, but uh, some people don't like as I me. See. Okay, so there's quite a lot of Brazilians that are not too fond of uh, soccer. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have met another Brazilian before, mm. before, and uh, that. Person also didn't like soccer much, so you're not <laughs> the first one. Uh, okay, <laughs> oh, nice. And um, so you must be a new student. It's the first time I, you know, have you in my class. So when when did you join yes. Polingo? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, you're yes. very fresh. Yes. Have you taken any lessons yet, or is this your first one? No. So, uh... I have been in the United States maybe how, uh, two months ago, okay. uh, lear learning English. English. Uh, only about one month I have been. Uh, now I need to continue my 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 Studying. learning. Yeah, learning. Yes, learning. Yes. yes. 
uh, and I embraced it in, in Colingo because I I think it is like a English class in the United States uh, and uh, but it's the same I I had in the United States the the method maybe I see um, yes so I I I like it the the method like the, the method and the style yes 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 excellent excellent I'm really glad you joined that's good and Thank you. Um, so you are cu currently are you in the states or are you back in Brazil oh I'm back in Brazil I see okay okay I understand okay that's good that's I, good. I, I forgot the some words <laughs> Well, that's okay. You speak quite well. You, you told me you've only been learning for a very short period, so that's excellent. That's really good. I can understand everything you're saying, which is really good. Thank you. Um, and, and how did you come across Colingo? How did you I, find out? I find it over the internet mm -hmm. uh, when I I was. When I have been in the United States, I, I find it over the internet, and uh, I like it, and uh, I am in great state now. Awesome, awesome. I see your picture there uh, in San Francisco. Is that where you were staying in the States? Sorry? Were you staying in San Francisco? Yes, in San Francisco. Nice, nice. Uh, Colingo, nice. actually, yeah, Colingo is based in San Francisco, I believe. Yes, yeah, I learned it. Yeah. I learned it. Good. Awesome, that's the, great. This is a very great city. It's lovely. I haven't been to the States myself. I'm, a, I'm not actually American. I don't know if you've noticed. My my accent is not American. Yes. Um, I'm from Australia. I'm Australian. I don't know if you've been to Australia. But anyways, I'll tell you something about myself briefly. But let's just welcome the other student, Alexander. Uh, hello, Alan. Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, and you? Well, thanks for asking. Nice to have you on board. Uh, yes, uh, we were talking before. Yes, I remember. Yes, was it yesterday? Yes, yes, you, yes. Yeah, that's right. You're from Ukraine? Yes, yes. Yes, welcome. Nice to see you again. Uh, I'm too. <laughs> awesome. Okay. And we have also Vyaslav. Hello, Hello Vyaslav. Alan. Hello. Oh, nice to see you. Welcome back. Me too. And how, how have you been, uh, Vyaslav? Mm. Uh, yesterday I watched a uh, match. Did you? Matches. Did you like it? Yes, and today, now, Galatasaray play with uh, Real Madrid. That's right. Yeah, some really good matches on today as well. The Champions yes. League. Yes, exactly. Mm. Yeah, you know, as I'm, I'm recording them actually, so as soon as we finish here, I'm gonna go to the TV and watch them. It's not the same, unfortunately. I know it's not the same. I don't it's know, not, it's but not it's live. not the it's same. Not live. Well, it just happens to be that I'm teaching while the football is on, so I can't quit my job <laughs> to watch uh, live football. We can't uh, watch all matches uh, all day because we have the Premier League uh, Sunday and Monday. Uh, Wednesday was uh, Premier um, uh, Premier League and today Premier League too. Yes. 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 Yeah. So we it's, should, it's busy. Yes, we should choose something. Not all. Yeah, we can't have everything. That's what they say. You can't have everything. You gotta be happy and content. Um, by the way, Vyslav, we've got two new students, uh, Bruno um, and Alexander. Yeah. Yeah. Bruno yeah. is Bruno is from Brazil, from Sao Paulo, and Alexander is from Ukraine. I don't know if you've met each other. Have you met each other? No, no, we no, we don't. no, no, no. All right, so, okay, well, I'll briefly say something about myself, because Bruno and Alexander, they haven't um, had the opportunity to hear my introduction. 
and then maybe you can say something briefly about yourselves. Yeah. Okay. So, like I like I already told Bruno at the beginning, I'm um, Australian. So, um, and uh, originally I'm from Bosnia. Yeah, Bosnia and Croatia. My parents are from Bosnia and Croatia, but most of my life I spent in Australia. <coughs> and uh, yeah, but currently I'm living in the UK. So I'm in the UK right now, and I've been here for about a year and a half. And before coming to the UK, I taught English in Egypt for two years. Yeah, and um, so I've been around the world a fair bit. And also, I, I was in Germany for five years uh, during my youth. So I can speak, uh, you know, a few languages here and there. I try to. And then some of my hobbies are, you know, sports. Obviously, you know, soccer is um, something I always discuss with my students. Uh, I played soccer when I was a bit younger, and uh, I still like to play it now, and I follow it quite enthusiastically. And also technology. I'm really into technology, information technology, computers, uh, anything to do with gadgets. You know, I like to really keep up to date with the latest high tech, you know, stuff. Uh, and yeah, that's it. I also like history. You know, languages, obviously, and a bit of uh, you know comparative religion studies and so on. So, uh, Alexander, yeah, tell us tell us something about yourself briefly. Mm. Uh, I'm from Ukraine, how I say it, uh, and um, I'm a programmer, uh, and uh, I like uh, play football and hockey. Uh, I like a little bit uh, running. Um, it's uh, I know it's a. Uh, Mm, I'm sorry. I will translate something. Uh, um, uh, uh, it's uh, hard um, to force uh, to do sport, <laughs> uh, but uh, I know uh, I have to do this because it's healthy. Uh, and that's all what I can say <laughs> about me. That's, that's good. Uh, yeah, that's that's plenty for now. Uh, uh, also, also, uh, I want to say about Australia. You, uh, I know you are from Australia, and uh, I want to say that my brother too. He is. He lives. Uh, he lives in Australia. Oh really? Which yes. part of Australia? Which city? Uh, he lives in, in South Australia, uh, town Adelaide. Ad Ad Adelaide, yes. Adelaide, yeah. And, uh, and uh, I have one question: uh, Why you left Australia? Why did I leave Australia? Uh, why did you leave uh, leave uh, Australia? Yes. Uh, many many reasons. I haven't left Australia totally. Uh, hopefully, in the near future, I can go back there. But um, yeah, there's a lot of things, a lot of uh, you know, family things. You know, my father-in-law was living here in, uh, in, uh, mm -hmm. in the UK, and he was by himself, and uh, so it was more his health that we were concerned about. So you know, we basically moved here for his sake, and that that was the main reason, really. Yeah. Mm. Uh, because my brother told me every time. Uh, uh, that uh, live uh, uh, that um, life in Australia is very good. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, you're right. I mean, if you look at the global economy crisis, you know, Australia uh -huh. is, is one of the Western countries that uh, pretty much did um, or was affected the least. You know, obviously it was affected, but it didn't suffer as much. It, it, it recovered quite quickly. Uh, but apparently now they're going to be going through a tough time. But still, yeah, it's not as bad as let's say in Europe, yeah, or in the uh -huh. States. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Alexander. Thank you for that introduction. Thank you. And Muhammad, hello, Muhammad. Welcome. How are you? you? Welcome back. <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah. So uh, just... today, the whole yeah. day I had problem with this uh, internet today. Oh no. 
so lately you know I discovered from the net itself you know so it's an internet connection yeah internet connection it was. yeah that happens sometimes you might have to contact your internet provider and see if they can fix it somehow. no no it's it's fixed you know but we have uh, what they call it a router that one it ah, the router. The, yeah yeah so so that one it makes it strong so so uh, you know it's uh, that uh, was uh, failed so uh, oh, I just no. set it up again and uh, I catch the the last lesson with the uh, America I see okay well that's good you got it fixed now yeah yeah Alhamdulillah that's good Alhamdulillah. I'm glad you got it fixed now because yeah you don't want to be missing out on your lovely lessons yes yes okay Muhammad tell us something about yourself as you can see Alexander we have a new student I don't know if you've met Alexander and then we have Bruno as well mm. so just Tell us something briefly. Yes, uh, Muhammad from uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and I live in Jeddah. You know, it's a beautiful city. It uh, looks on the sea, and and uh, uh, okay, I'm married. <laughs> I don't want to say that. Okay, married. I have uh, two daughters, one son. I like football as you like it. Lovely. Okay, that's it? That's it, yes. Lovely. Thank you very much, Muhammad. There you go, guys. And uh, Bruno. All right. Yes. Uh, about me? Yes, anything about you. Just something All right. Here, yeah. Okay. My name is Bruno. I'm from Brazil, Sao Paulo. Oh. And the, I don't like soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Very strange. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but so we Brazil. That's what I told him. That's what I told him. <laughs> <to>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I have a, a company here. Uh, I make a aerosol. Uh, yeah. And the only. Sorry, I didn't catch that. You said you have a company and you make. What do you make? Aerosol spray. I like a spray. spray. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. I see. Okay. Yes, I understand. Ah, nice. Cos okay. Cosmetics and panty, uh, industrial products. Mm -hmm. Like that's it. Okay. Good. Any hobbies? Have you got any hobbies? Um, do you do only, any, any no, no, no. Only I like to work out at the gym only. So you stay fit at the gym. Excellent. Uh, yes, I, I don't have a, uh, many time for <laughs> hobbies. My, yeah, your business. My time is, yes, it's short. Yeah, it's usually the case uh, with entrepreneurs or with businessmen. They're quite busy and they don't have much time to, you know, do uh, other th other things. But yeah, that's good. Okay, Bruno, thank you very much. And um, Vyslav, tell us something about yourself. Please. Yes, my name is Vyslav. I am from Poland. I have been studying English for about two years. Um, what more? What more? I like uh, from sport. I like uh, in the in the summer. I like windsurfing or riding on the bicycle. And in the winter, I like very much uh, skiing or skating. Uh, I I like play bridge or and cheese. Nice. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. And of yes, course, sir. I like football. Uh, <laughs> against to <laughs> Bruno. <laughs> especially, <The opposite. laughs> but uh, especially I like uh, the Premier League because, in my opinion, that is the best on the world. Mm. And from Spain, only four uh, uh, four clubs. But Premier Leagues, I think uh, each uh, club in the first uh, in the Premier League, it's a really good uh, club. Mm. Yes. It is pleasure we can see every 
week or two twice in week the matches yes matches yes matches okay. yeah matches Matches. Okay. you can say games yeah Excellent. I I have to say I like uh, watch more matches than films ten times maybe really so you yeah. enjoy the football matches more than movies uh -huh. <laughs> yes yeah it's realistic, right? Movies sometimes it's just uh, movies. It's for entertainment really only. There's not no reality there. But I understand, I understand. Um, excellent, thank you, Vyslav. Okay, Muhammad has dropped out. I hope he doesn't have uh, internet problems again. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you very much for your intros. Uh, I think we'll start the class. Okay. Um, so this is a high beginners class, okay? So the level is high beginner, and we'll focus a bit more on grammar. So Alexander and Bruno, uh, in case you don't know, we have four levels, okay? Okay. I don't know if you right. explain if somebody explained this to you before or not, um, but basically the first level is the high beginner, okay? Yes. Then we have intermediate, yeah, intermediate. And with these first two levels, we usually have more grammar uh, focus, so we you know, stick more to grammar, have more time on grammar, and we also have a discussion article that we read and agree to discuss, but mainly we focus on grammar. Then the third highest is high intermediate, and the highest is advanced. So the last two, the third and the fourth, we don't focus on grammar too much or pronunciation. We, we cover it briefly. But mainly discussion, yeah. So we focus on the article more. That the students get to talk a lot more and discuss, you know, and use their language skills a lot more. Okay. So those are the main differences between those four. Um, so, okay. The interest for this lesson is history and culture, and the grammar skill uh, contractions. What are contraction contractions? What's a contraction? In grammar, who can give me an example? I I um, I think it's uh, when uh, we use some, uh, for example, did not and didn't. It's uh, it's uh, contraction. Excellent, bravo! That's it. So did not becomes didn't. Yeah, yeah. excellent. Yeah. Any other ones? Mm. What else is there? Haven't uh, I am? Mm, yes. You are. Uh, mm, uh, l l l let's go. It's um, let us. Let's go. Yes, excellent. Have you done this lesson already, uh, Alexander? No, mm -hmm. no. <laughs> Vyslav, I know Vyslav has. Vyslav, you've done it, yeah? Uh, uh, I uh, this uh, uh, I this study studied uh, myself. Excellent, well done. Good on you. Okay, that's good. So you've given me quite a few there already. Excellent. So I'm gonna uh, now screen share the actual grammar so you can see some more examples. Okay, so basically, in English we often contract or shorten words. Yeah, for example, we may say um, he's instead of he is. By the way, can you see what I'm sharing? Can you see the text? Yes, I see. Yes, good. Yes, good. Because sometimes the Hangouts doesn't work properly, and all you can see is my picture. Okay, so it's good. So we say he's instead of he is. And we basically put the apostrophe there, uh, which replaces the missing letter or letters. So we have many, many more. I'm sure that you'll come across some which you haven't heard before. Uh, so let's have a look. Okay, on the left side, on the left column, we have the full word or words. And then in the middle, we have the contracted form. And on the far right, you know, some notes in case we have to explain something. So not, basically we have N apostrophe T. Now when it comes to, uh, for example, ain't, you might have heard that 
a lot, especially in the American English. These are irregular forms. Yeah, so ain't. Yeah, don't, won't, and shan't. Okay. What is shan't? Okay, who knows? Does anyone else know what shan't means? Should not? Uh, I know it's a should not. No? Ah, shall, shall not. Ah, yeah. That's more like it. Yeah, shall, shan't is like uh, shall not, yeah. Should, should not would be shouldn't. Shouldn't, okay? But this here is uh, shall not. Shan't. Eh, shall not, yeah. I shall not go to work tomorrow. It's like saying I will not go to work tomorrow. Yeah, you you you've confirmed it. That's it. Yeah. So an apostrophe T can only be attached to an auxiliary, which is not contracted already. So let's look at some other examples. Let us, like Alexander said, means let's or let's means let us. I am. I'm. R, we put apostrophe R, E, is apostrophe S, and does also can be apostrophe S, but this is more informal. That's more informal, uh, so you use it more in speech rather than uh, writing. So you wouldn't see, for example, here they've, give, they've told us, um, what's, he, what's he do there every day? What's he do there every day? That doesn't mean what is he do, it means what does he do. Okay, this means what does he do there every day. So this is common in speech, yeah? Native English speakers say this. Uh, but you will not necessarily write it like this. You will still write what does he do there every day. This is why it's informal. Then we can also have the apostrophe S uh, where has actually is the word. Okay, apostrophe V E, have. Then apostrophe D, we have three different uses. uses. So had, did, and would. But did is also informal, like the one above. For example, where'd she go? Yeah, where'd she go means where did she go. So you would probably write it, where did she go, but when you speak or read it, you can say, where'd she go? Where'd she go? Yeah, it's just easier and more fluent. And uh, yeah, would and had, yeah, they're fine, they can be written with apostrophe D. Then uh, apostrophe double L is will. Yeah, I'm sure you know that. And then the other one is O apostrophe. And this actually we use it in o'clock, like it's, you know, nine o'clock. But actually, uh, originally that means off. But we don't write this anymore. Okay, so we, we always write o'clock. Yeah, it's nine o'clock, ten o'clock, five o'clock, and so on. Then we have it. Apostrophe T. This is more speech again. So here, let's say the example is, it was the night before Christmas. It was, instead of it was. Yeah, so it's like a lazy way of speaking, uh, the sentence. Now. It's very lazy speaking. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it's very lazy. So it's like, it was the night before Christmas, instead of saying it, because it takes... Uh, a bit more air for you to say it, right? A bit more effort. So native English speakers just say it was the night before Christmas instead of it was the night before. Yeah. Um, again, you wouldn't write it like this. All right. It's just the way, the way you, when you pronounce it. And then again, another informal uh, one is M. So apostrophe M, which actually means them. Um, what are we going to do with them? What are we going to do with them? With them, yeah? With them. 
because with already ends with the same beginning as the beginning of them, right? So we just say with them. But you wouldn't write it like this again. You don't write apostrophe then. Then we have um, isn't, is not means, or uh, isn't means is not. Ain't is the informal way. So you might find this somewhere in certain magazines, I don't know, but it's not very common to write it. Like, like it says here, it's informal. So you might hear someone say, I am doing this. I ain't means here, I am not doing this. I ain't doing this. Yeah? It's pretty common in the American English. But it's an in informal way of speaking. And it can also mean isn't. I mean is not and am not can both be used for ain't. Yeah, like he isn't, he, sorry, he is not coming. He ain't coming. He is not coming. He ain't coming. All right? That's the same meaning. Okay, any questions so far, guys? No. No. Okay, all clear? Excellent. Lovely. All right, so secondly, they are both positive and negative contractions. So let's look at some positive contractions. So how about I get you guys to read this? Okay, so Alexander, can you read the first sentence, please? Okay. Uh, I am your, his, she's, it's, we are, they are. Good. Excellent. So I'm your, he's, she's, it's, we are, they are. And the verb to be conjugated. Mm -hmm. That's a long form. Excellent. Okay, Bruno, can you read the next one? I V U V he she's it's we V David. Okay, so this is the verb to have conjugated. So I've you've he's she's it's we've they've okay. Then, next one, yes, love. I'll, you'll, he'll, she'll, it'll, will, they'll. Good. So this is will or shall contracted. So I shall or I will is spelled the same, yeah? I and then apostrophe double L. And Alexander, the last one. Mm, I'd. You'd, he'd, she'd, it'd, we'd, they'd. Excellent, yes. So would, should, had, contracted. So they'd can be they would, or they should, or they had. So it all, all depends now on the context or on your sentence, you know? Yes. And you know, when you read the sentence, you will understand. That does it mean would, uh, should, or have? So we don't know now because there are no examples given now. Okay, but we'll have more examples, I think, towards the end. So then we have some negatives. So short form of are not is aren't. Cannot, can't. Could not, couldn't. Dare not, daren't. Now, who has heard of this before? I bet none of you. Do you understand what this word means, dare? No. Yes, love? No one? No. Is that not? <laughs> okay, so I, I have translated this. <laughs> Do you understand in Russian? In Ukrainian? Yes, yes, Russia, Russia. I, I speak yeah. Russia. Okay, so basically, there means. Um, um, yeah, I, I can't. Uh, it's uh, look like I can't. Uh, I, I didn't do this. 
it looks like. Yes? Okay. Yeah, you get there. So this negative form of there, like daren't or dare not, means I'll give you a sentence. I dare not touch his computer. Yes. Yeah? For example, I, I, I don't, oh, I'm afraid to touch my dad's computer. Yeah, you're talking about your dad's computer. I dare not. Yeah. I don't have, I don't have the, uh, the guts. You know, sometimes we say the guts to touch it. I dare not. No, it's, it's like almost like forbidden. You know, I, I wouldn't do that. You know, I wouldn't want to do that. You know, it's, ooh, it's dangerous maybe. Yeah. So I dare not. Yeah. Or I don't yes. dare. Uh, you know, to I don't know to to fight with this person. Maybe he's a big guy. You know, and you know he's very strong. He's a good fighter in martial arts or something like that. So I dare not, you know, uh, start an argument with him. So he's saying I definitely will not start an ar argument. I don't I don't dare. You don't have the guts to do that. Um, you don't have the, you know, you don't, you don't want to take the risk, okay? Yes, I understand. Yeah. Okay, guys? So the contraction for that would be daren't. And this is not very common, right? Uh, yeah. But it's, it's, it's possible. I, I, I see this first. I first see Yeah, it. it's the first time. Yeah, a lot of students that have... Yeah, then they haven't seen this before. Uh, but it's there, you know, you can contract it. Uh, but it's more common to say they're not, as far as I know. Yeah? Then we have did not, didn't. Yeah, that's very easy, you know that. Does not, doesn't. Uh, do not, don't. Has not, hasn't. Have not, haven't. Had not, hadn't. Is not, isn't, may not, mayn't. This is another new one for you, yeah? So instead of saying no, you may not touch the computer. So you, you say no, you mayn't touch the computer. Same with might not, mightn't, mightn't, yeah? Must not, mustn't, need not, need, needn't. Ought not, oughtn't. It's like uh, ought is like should, yeah, similar to should. Then we have shall not, shan't. Yeah, we had that at the very beginning. Remember? Yes. Um, should not, shouldn't. Was not, wasn't. Were not, weren't. Will not. Won't and would not is wouldn't. Okay, so now below we have some uh, common contractions. So I'll get you guys to it's quite a few. I'll get you guys to read them quickly. Yeah, so read the whole line, or actually just read the sentence if you like. So Alexander, read the first sentence, please. Um, uh, here's your meal. Yes, here's your meal. Here, here's your meal. Yeah, this is quite difficult for learners because they might pronounce it as um, hers. Hers. See, if you look in the chat, I'm typing hers. Hers. Yeah, that's different. Hers, it means that it's possessive pronoun. It belongs to her. Yeah, hers means it belongs to her. Exactly what I've typed now. Like this is, um, uh, this computer is hers. It belongs to her. The, the lady. But in this case, here, here's your meal. Here's your meal. Yes. Yeah? It's a slight different pronunciation. <laughs> so here we have, here's your meal. Yeah, here's your meal. Okay, excellent. Uh, Bruno, next one. There will be nobody here tomorrow. Yeah. There will be nobody here tomorrow, which means there will. So there will be. There will be nobody here tomorrow. It's a bit difficult to do the tongue twister here. It's not as easy, but um, you can also say there will be no one here tomorrow. Or you can just say there will be nobody here tomorrow. Okay, Vyaslav? 
And there's a taxi. Yeah. There's a taxi. There's a taxi. Okay, uh, Alexander? That's my car. Nice, nice and easy, yes. Bruno? Bruno, are you there? Maybe connection problem. Yeah, I think it happens sometimes. Okay, Vyaslav, can you continue, please? That will be ten dollars, please. Excellent. That will be ten dollars, please. Or that'll be. That'll be is a bit more difficult to pronounce, I think. Uh, this is the American standard. That'll be. Yeah. In British or Australian, you might say that will be. Yeah, that will. But the T is more sharp. Okay, um, Alexander. How's your wife? Good. How's your wife? Bruno, are you back with us? Uh, what what do what do people think? Good. What do people think? Or what do what do people think? What do people think? This is the American standard. Uh, or what do think? What will people think? Which means what will people think? Excellent. Uh, we are what will people, uh, what will the matter? What's the matter? Ah, ah yes. What, what's the matter? Good. What's the matter? Are you sick? Have you got fever? What's the matter with you? Mm, excellent. Okay, uh, Alexander? When's the wedding? Good. When's the wedding? Uh, wedding. Wedding. Yeah. yeah, when's the wedding? Good. Bruno? Where's the cinema? Yes, where's the cinema? Excellent, yes, well. What's your teacher? Hmm? Who is who's your teacher? Yes, good. Who's your teacher? Who's your teacher? Good. Alexander? Uh, who'd like ice cream? Nice. Who'd like ice cream means who would like, yeah? Who'd like ice cream? Yes. Excellent. And then Bruno, last one. Who'll be there? Yes. Who'll be there? Who'll be there? Which means who will be there. Well done, guys. Excellent. And then just to wrap it up, we've got a couple more things here. Um, some contractions can have two or three meanings depending on the rest of the sentence. Yeah. So, like I said before, it all comes down to the context or the situation. You know what the sentence actually means. For example, he can be either he had or he would. So here we have he'd like to go, which means he would like to go, not he had like to go. Yeah. So if yes. you understand, if you understand the sentence, you would know straight away. Oh, it's wood. Okay. And then the next one. He'd finished when I arrived. He'd finished when I arrived, which means he had finished when I arrived. Yes. Okay. If you say he would finished, it doesn't make sense. Yes, because yeah. finished. Yeah. Yeah. Finished. Is the past in this case. Okay, guys. So uh, and finally, um, so some forms of uh, simple may also be considered contractions, such as wanna. You've heard that before. I wanna go home, which means want to, or gonna, going to. These are the two most common ones. Yeah, and then especially in American standard. In this, you have y'all. You all, yeah, y'all, and uh, yeah, and there's others there as well. Hmm. So these are common in collo uh, colloquial speech. Colloquial speech. You won't hear, you won't see this written. Sometimes this, but it's pretty informal. But in speech, it's very common. 
if you you know you go to America, especially in, you know, on the streets in the streets, and you hear in native speaking, you're gonna hear y'all, you're gonna hear gonna wanna, and so on. So I really want to go see that movie tonight. Y'all better remember to take your sunscreen. Yeah. So you all better remember to take your sunscreen. Okay, guys, that's it. Any questions? No, I don't have. <clears throat> okay, there are quite a lot of contractions to chew on. I know you probably can't remember all of them, but I think there are a few, a few which we covered which were new. So I think it was good to go through, go through some of these. Um, okay, so let's do the article. I'm going to read this article to you guys. And we'll discuss it briefly. And the link for the article is in the chat, in the Colingo chat, so you can open it as well if you like, in your own window. And then you can scroll up and down in your own freedom. So, what are we talking about here? Italian city bans foreign food. Do you understand the title? What does the title mean? An that, Italian uh, city, yeah? That is the Italian uh, Italian city mm -hmm. uh, for um, the uh, meat from the abroad is forgiven. Forgiven or forbidden? Forbidden. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, you're on the right track. Excellent. So it's this Italian city or city in Italy bans or it doesn't allow it doesn't allow foreign food so it's only eating local food so it doesn't allow any other like maybe Chinese or Indian food or whatever so let's see what they say <clears throat> until a short time ago <clears throat> actually you guys read a little bit this love can you read this uh, first paragraph please until a short Time ago, Italians mostly ate Italian food, but in the past decade, more and more immigrants have been coming into the country and with them their food. Now Italians are fighting back. Excellent. Well done. Well read. Okay, so Br uh, Bruno, uh, can you read the right. next three lines, please? Okay. The Tuscan town of Luca does not want any kebab shops and China restaurants in their historic seats anymore. Mm -hmm. Look about the six, six, sixty sixty kilometers from mm -hmm. Florence has declared that it wants to preserve it its food tradition. Therefore, no more foreigner food shops are allowed. Mm, excellent. Well read, Bruno. That's really good. Uh, for someone who just started learning English recently, that's really good. So the Tuscan, Tuscan town yeah, of Luca, uh, it doesn't want any kebab shops and Chinese restaurants in their historic city anymore. Luca, yeah, which is the town, um, or the, the location there, about 60 kilometers from Florence, yeah, it's another city, has declared that it wants to preserve its food tradition. Therefore, no more foreign food shops are allowed. Okay? And by the way, guys, if there are any words which you don't understand, you can easily just put it, uh, type it in the chat, in the Colingo chat, okay? And then we'll... Um, Explain it after we finish reading. So, Alexander, yes. please read the next. Yeah, read the okay. next. A debate is going on between town leaders and uh, the population. Is it possible to forbid other cultures in our era of globalization? Italy's ag agriculture minister supports uh, the ban. He says that it is important to preserve Italian culture and tradition. Good. Yes, excellent. So the only thing maybe agriculture and culture. Culture. 
culture. Yeah. Ag agriculture and culture. Those are the only three. Ag agriculture, yeah. Excellent. So to support the ban, the ban means the prohibition, you know, something mm -hmm. that's forbidden. Yes. And, yeah, so that's what it means. Excellent, well done. So let, I'll continue now because uh, we're running out of time, so I'm going to quickly read this. So just pay attention to me. Okay. Others are ashamed of what has happened. Critics of the new law say that a lot of a lot of typically Italian food does not originate in Italy but comes from other regions. Yeah? Tomatoes from South America or pasta from China. The issue is also influenced by the politicians of the region. In northern Italy, the right wing Northern League is very strong. It is against foreigners and foreign culture in Italy. Italians are also afraid that products from other countries are being sold as Italian. Cheap restaurants buy low quality olive oil from Greece or Turkey. Truffles that are imported from China are often passed on as Italian truffles from the northern part of the country. On the other side, the agriculture minister has told his fellow citizens that they should not eat their loved pineapples but instead turn to uh, panettone or panettone, a type of sponge cake. Okay, so uh, this is a picture, a photograph of this town, a medieval town of Luca in Tuscany. It still looks very historic, you know, historical. All right, guys, so that's that. So did you catch any words here which you didn't understand? No. OK. Uh, when uh, I see the word uh, that I didn't know, I just double tap <laughs> on this word. <laughs> And I, oh, see I, translate. I see. <laughs> oh, you translated. Oh, that's good. That's good. Using your own translator. That's good. Excellent. And by the way, um, you know, before you join the class, before you actually join my lesson or any other lesson, um, at the very bottom, you know, when you go on on Colingo uh, website and then you choose which class you want and you click on the teacher's name, if you scroll down to the bottom of that page, you can see the link. For, for the article that's going to be covered in the lesson. So you can open that link and actually read the article before the lesson even starts. So in the future, if you have time, you can do that. So when I'm reading or the, the teacher is reading, uh, you already un would understand uh, what the you know article is about. And you can look up the vocabulary in your free time. OK, so here's some vocab here quickly run through that. So agriculture is farming. Uh, ashamed of means to feel bad because you have done something. So ban here is uh, the new law. In this case, ban means it's new law. Uh, decade, a period of 10 years to declare, to say officially, forbid not to allow. Yeah, foreign is from another country. Uh, immigrant, you know, the influence to affect the way something develops, yeah, or the way some someone uh, thinks or feels. Issue is a topic, originate is to come from. Now, here is a, like a phrase pass on as, means to be seen as. Okay, that's a phrase, phrasal, phrasal verb. Uh, politician, we know that. Preserve to save something. And truffle like a mushroom that grows under the ground. It's very expensive. Uh, and Tuscany is the area of northern Italy famous for wine and beautiful old cities. So, any questions, No. Yeah, I already asked you that. So, no. let's see. Okay, let what happened there. Let me ask you a few questions and, and try to use uh, our contractions, yeah? Try to use our grammar that we just covered. So the first question would be, 
Tell us about something that people of your culture wouldn't ever try. So in this case, we're talking about like you know cultural food. So you know in the Ukraine, uh, what would the people never try? What wouldn't they ever try? What type um, of food? Maybe? Uh, I think. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, it would be um, uh, the food from from the sea. It's uh, uh, seafood. 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 Or uh, yes, uh, uh, Ukraine really? uh, doesn't d d don't like uh, don't like food from, uh, Usually, uh, Ukrainians uh, like. Um, Meat, food, salami. Yeah. Me, not not salami. Not uh, uh, usually meat, uh, chicken, uh, and um, fish from rivers. Rivers. Ah, fish from rivers, but not from the sea. Ah. Yes, yes, because uh, it's uh, fish from the sea is not good, uh, not fresh, uh, because uh, it's salty. Uh, it's salty, usually salty, yeah. Because of the salt water, yeah? Okay. Okay, what about Bruno in Brazil? In Brazil, there are all kind of foods. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Fish, meat, and... Uh, in Brazil, it's very common. Uh, Japanese food, mm. barbecue, feijoada. Yeah. So anything yeah. you've you've tried, you know, in Brazil, yes, Chinese yes. food. Yes. Yes. Any French like frogs and snails. Do you like that? Yes. Really? Wow. Really. Okay. All right. So all right. What about Wiesław in Poland? Uh, it's strange, but in Poland, uh, the people never try to grow uh, bananas. Uh, maybe it's too cold, or we maybe we have uh, we have uh, too less sun. Yeah, yeah, I think it has to be it has to do with uh, climate. Mm -hmm. um, okay, all right. Uh, so let me move on to the next question, guys, and. Always think of nice contractions to use. So, do you think it's all right when the Tuscan town of Luca, or what the Tuscan town of Luca is doing? So, what we've heard now in the article, do you think that this town is is doing the right thing? Is that all right? Banning foreign food? No, it's not all right. Hmm. Why? I think uh, because uh, the people uh, have a freedom for try another cultures. Good. Right, and uh, I think uh, prohibi uh, ban is the the foreigner food is is not good for peoples and the. For business, absolutely, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, okay, Italian food is nice, yeah, but people might get sick of the the local food. They might want to try different flavors, you know. Yes. And um, yeah, it's kind of. I think it's silly, so I agree with you. Um, what did the other guys think, Vyacheslav or Alexander? Uh, in my opinion, the Italian food is very good, and mm -hmm. I I don't find the reason why the um, people in this town uh, ban the food from the other countries, because uh, always when I go to Italy, I always look for the local food, and is not cheap and is selling. Uh, for a lot of people from abroad, mm -hmm. and it's really good. And uh, if I come back to Poland, for example, I always look for 
uh, some Italian food or the, uh, the other countries. Mm -hmm. This uh, why I can I can't uh, uh, remember. I can't uh, uh, go back to the time when I was in Italy. Mm. Yeah, it's it's kind of difficult for I don't know a normal person person to understand. Okay. Why banning foreign food? Just let the people eat what they want, you know? The, your Italian food is not going to uh, <clears throat> uh, die or be extinct. People love Italian food, you know? Uh, it's something they're proud of, you know, and they don't want... And they mentioned... <clears throat> uh, what did they say here? They want to preserve its food tradition. Okay, I don't think it'll get <laughs> lost in history. People love Italian food. They're always going to eat it. But um, oh, yeah. maybe only from the uh, from abroad, and uh, Italians eat uh, the Chinese or uh, Spanish or the other countries' food. Yes, yes, that's right. Um, so yeah, but yeah, it happens. It happens in many other cities. You know, people might get a bit, um, I don't know, overprotective over the tradition and, and culture. So they decide to ban certain things, you know, which I think is a bit strange. We're all living in, in a multicultural world. Uh, we have to, you know, believe in this diversity, a you know, diverse community. But anyways, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it's only food, right? <laughs> all right, guys. So that's it. We've come to the end of the lesson. And um, so, any questions before I let you go? No, all, I don't have. All have me? Excellent. Yes. Well, look, very nice to meet you guys, Bruno and Alexander. Nice, nice to, to see you again. And uh, I'm, I'm too. <laughs> bye, bye, Alan. Yeah, have a, have a lovely much. night. Enjoy the football, whatever is left of it. Bruno, I know Bruno's gonna watch the football. Yeah, <laughs> we, got, we converted Bruno. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, guys. Thank you. Night. I'll see you next time. Have a good night. Bye bye. All right. Bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. You're welcome, guys.